Welcome to our yin class. My name is Tammy. Our theme for our class is neck, back, and shoulders. Let's release them. Letting go is our intention. And of course, it is a lot of times that we're throughout the day doing lots of forward movements on the computer. So opening up this upper body for us, it's so important. Okay, lie down. Let's lie down onto our side of the body and turn so you're gonna be on your back. Our first pose is banana pose. Banana asana. So we're making the shape of a banana. Walk your legs over to the left corner of the mat and upper body, keeping your hips down towards the center, and then upper body coming over to the left corner of the mat. Notice your right hip, if it's lifting up or not, so lifting up like that. We just come onto the banana shape a little bit here. Now, feel that stretch already. Increasing the stretch, we may bring our arms overhead. You may hold on to the hands or have your arms just over the head and so open. See if that works for you. You may hold them to the hands or the opposite elbows too. Cross your right ankle for even more of a stretch. Crossing your right ankle at the top of the left ankle. Now, Usually the banana asana is one of favorites in yin yoga. We can do this in hatha yoga too. Want you just to let yourself start to release into the ground. Inhale, opening up all those areas that you feel tight. Exhale, just letting yourself go. All along the right side of our body, we're stretching. It's a nice curve into our spine. Coming up into the rib cage into your armpit, shoulders, arms. Gently touching into the lower body too, to your IT band on the side of the leg. Coming out of 
a banana shape by compressing the ankles, releasing the arms and come back down towards the sides and taking the upper body back to the center. And just taking the legs back towards the center. As a big opening for our first pose, we'll make our way to the other side. So this nice big opening into the other side. So walking the legs over to the right corner, walking your upper body over to the right corner. Now here, you may bring your arms up overhead, opening up through our chest, the front of our shoulders. You may hold on to the hands. You may hold on to the opposite elbows. Now crossing the left ankle over top of the right ankle. Okay, all along the side of our body again. We're feeling the stretch. So along the side, upper body, open into the rib cage. Open into your armpit with an inhale breath, continue to open. Exhale breath, let go, release. There comes a point in our class where you are able and you actually start to feel yourself start to let go. It may have happened for you a little bit earlier. So maybe it just happened for you that you were able to start to let go. It may not have yet. So I want you to notice that as we move through the class where your body starts to let go. where you're able to soothe your mind. Now making our way out of banana pose by uncrossing the ankles, releasing the arms back down towards the side and our upper body, the baking. Let's way back towards the center, lower body, and back to the center. Bending the right knee, bending the left knee, Take your right knee, then left knee in towards the chest and your lower body, lower back, settle into the ground. Hold on to the backs of the legs. Exhale breath, let your body soften into the ground.
makes the compression through our intestines. Now out of cradle, we take the right foot down to the ground, left foot down to the ground, keep the knees bent, arms come in line with the shoulders, and lengthen out through your fingers, and with an inhale breath, lengthen, exhale breath, bring your arms back, and give yourself a big hug and pull down on the shoulders. Inhale, open up. And exhale, come back and cross your arms the opposite way, pull down your shoulders. Inhale, open. Exhale, come back and crossing your arms over, pull down. One more time through. And exhale, come back and again, cross your arms the opposite way and pull down. And bringing the arms back to the side. Take the right knee into the chest, extend the left leg on the ground and hold. Take your leg up towards the sky. Point and flex. Point and flex. Now push the heel up towards the sky, toes down towards your face. And hold. Bring your arms in line with the shoulders. Palms turned up towards the sky. Continue to push your heel up. Now working into our hamstrings attached to our hip, it's going to help for our lower back. Bringing the arms back, bending through the right knee. Take your foot down to the ground. Slide your left leg back and left knee into the chest. Hold, extend your right leg. Take your left leg up and here, point and flex. Point. Hold the foot flexed, push your heel up to the sky, toes down towards your face. Again, you may take the arms in line, shoulders turn your palms up to the sky. Continue to push your heel up and breathe. Taking the way out of this pose to your arms back, take the knee into the chest, draw the right leg back in towards the chest and knee into the chest and hold back into cradle. Now for our next pose, we're working our way up. So up the back, we'll take our legs up and over towards the left side into our twist. So our spinal twist, the arms again can come in line with the shoulders. 
at turning your head the opposite way of the knees. Here, close your eyes. Breathe. Coming back towards the center. Legs coming back towards the center. And bring it up and over to the other side, to the right side. Arms again in line with the shoulders, turn your head opposite way. So this lovely twist, working our way up to your spine all the way the top of our spine, cervical spine. Breathe. It's like opening up through the front of our shoulders right now. Coming out, turning your head. This may have been the pose that helped you to let go here. So coming out of it though, sorry. We bring our knees back towards the center uh, and give yourself a little hug here for cradle. And just a hold. You can walk side to side. Just like this. Massage for a spine. Take your right foot, left foot down towards the ground. We roll over to right side to fetal. So right arm coming over, roll over the, to the right side to fetal and make it your way up. Oh, that's lying down. <laughs> Making your way up and into cat cow. Onto your toes, grip the bat with your finger pads, and inhale, draw your heart up to the sky for cow. Exhale to cat. Inhale to cow. And exhale, cat. 
exhale. Continue to move through your spine here. Nice flowing movement. And coming out, uncurling the toes, sitting back into hero. Sitting on your heels. We take our fingers forward and turn them back. We won't hold this pose for, for more than 45 seconds, minute. Okay, so just turning so that your fingers are pointing towards your knees. Gently press down. You do not have to bring the wrist all the, all the way down. See where it works for you. Stretching in through the front. Into your forearms. Underneath your forearms. So our arms here. So having Forearms that are released, releasing all those tissues to help for our shoulders. Breathe. Now coming out, gently bring the arms back and gently come back and sitting onto your heels here, still for hero. Now into easy pose. So just notice those hands and then come into easy pose. Just contend your fingers. Pressing your right leg over top of the left leg. This way. The light so you can see me. Okay, with this pose, our easy pose sitting here, now we'll move into stretching out the top of our forearms. Let your shoulders relax. <laughs> okay, so take your arms up, hands down, and imagine you're holding rocks in your hands into your fists. And so bring your, your fingers together and then draw your fist down. Breathe. So we had into the backs of the forearms, now top of the forearms. And letting arms release down. Okay, let's sit here and come into a few stretches through our neck. So tipping your right ear and then left ear to the shoulder. Okay, so let's tip the right ear to the shoulder. And just holding this stretch into our neck. We sit up tall, lengthen through the spine, and then tip your ear to the shoulder. Breathe. Now 
Inhale, filling those areas that are tight. Exhale, and to let yourself go. Inhale, breath, and we bring our head. Exhale, hold. Sit up tall, inhale. Exhale, tip left ear to shoulder. Now coming out, gently bring your head back up. And for a moment, sitting up tall again, a little tip of the chin towards the chest. And that's pushing the chin into the chest, lengthen through the spine and tip. See if we can just bring the chin just a little bit more to the chest. And the base of our neck. Inhale, breath. Draw the head back up. Exhale, breath. Hold. And a twist will be next. Take your hands behind. Take the legs forward here first. Windshield wiper the knees side to side. Now I had crossed my right leg in front of my left leg. So now for the twist, I will cross my left leg in front of my right. So you can do the same, just change. And sitting up tall with an inhale breath, twisting over to the left side. Hold, inhale, and hold. Inhale. Sit up tall, exhale, let yourself go. Breathe deeply.
Inhale, you may sit up taller. And now the exhale breath draws us back to the other side. The right hand will come behind and we'll sit up tall. Exhale over to the right side. The left hand is going up on the outside of the right knee. Shoulders soften. Exhale breath will draw us back. So you can do an inhale breath, sit up tall, and then exhale breath, come back towards the center. Take your hands by the side of the body, extend both the legs, give them a little shake out. Center. The next pose will be shoelace pose. So I'll give you a couple options for shoelace. The left leg can be extended and then pressing your right ankle or right knee over top of the left leg. So you can do this. Or that the right knee is being stacked over top of the left knee. That's the goal. <laughs> you can flex those feet. You just draw the toes back a bit and hold here. We can add our calf face arms so that would look like this draw the right arm underneath the left arm wrap the arms around each other hold on to the hands draw your shoulders up and then draw down Through the back of the shoulders. Lower body is into the hips. Shoelace is coming to a close. One more cycle of breath, inhaling. And exhale breath, out the arms, taking them back side. And now legs coming out, taking windshield wiper, the knees feet wider than the hips and windshield wiper. So lovely, lovely, lovely to the other side. Take your right leg in front here first, and then you can cross your left ankle over top or left knee over top. 
bend both knees and have the right left knee stacked over top of the right. You can do a real flex to the feet, so draw the toes back. You may hold here, or you're going to add the arms to again. This time, it is the left arm coming up underneath and up and around and attaching to the right hand. Again, drawing up through the shoulders, and now we pull down. With adding the arms, it's into the back of our shoulders, but also may be feeling this for this one into the right side of the neck. Stretch into your collarbone. And breathe. Continue to let the, the shoulders soften with the exhale. Bring out a shoelace and twist the arms, release them down to the ground. The legs coming out and then take the legs forward and give them a shake out here. Back into easy pose. Just notice which leg you're crossing over top of the other. The next pose. You could do these arms to just a couple of them. We'll just work on through our arms, shoulders here now. Um, when we did cow face too. So our stir, I mean shoelace for what we just did. We'll take the arm up into the air, the right arm, and then take your arm down. And my hand's just going down onto my upper part of my back. I'll take my left hand, I'll place it on top of the right elbow and then just press down. It's a nice big opening into our armpit here, underneath our shoulder, around to the side. Side of our back. Biceps. out, release your arms, and then into the other side. So you can stretch them up or take them down and then into the other side. Breathe.
out of this pose, we release the arms, let them float back down. And shoulders soften. Take your hands behind, intertwine your fingers, draw the shoulders down, and lift up through the arms. Front of our shoulder, opening up, draw down through the collarbone. Elbows. Lift your hands a little bit higher, but where it's comfortable to. Exhale breath, release your hands, release the arms. We have, are coming to a forward fold down, taking the legs into butterfly. And I would like you to have supports underneath of the knees. So we're just gonna release everything, let everything come forward. So we had a lot of opening through the front, now opening into the back. And inhale breath, you can draw up and bring your feet closer towards your, your groin. And exhale breath, come up and over, come forward. Your arms may come into the front. You may, when you have time, Build up some supports here too for yourself and let the forehead rest. Or your forehead can rest on your, arm, your hands. Feel this nice big opening, the stretch in towards the back. Bring so much of your back when we do forward, forward bends. If you let go a little bit more, readjust. And come back into stillness.
me out of butterfly. Back slowly. Right. Child's pose, our next pose is taking your props over to the side and into child's pose. So all fours. Uncurl the toes. You may turn your knees out towards the sides of the mat too. Arms come forward. Forehead rests. Your forehead may rest onto your hands too. Or you're not. Just notice having your forehead resting to help you to release. Notice if it's helping for you to let go a little bit more. Now coming out of child's pose. That was a lovely one too. <laughs> but we're now making our way into Shavasana. Getting yourself ready for Shavasana. You can put a blanket over your body, cover yourself up. Nice and cozy and warm. Upright. You may want to do something else before you come into stillness. And then coming into stillness. We let our physical body release. So your eye sockets are heavy, your facial features soften. Your shoulders release. You squeeze your hips, your bottom, and then release. Our breath softens, watch the breath. The mind wanders. We soak up this calm, this peace. And I will call you back when it is time.
lifting, slowly coming back, and you may wiggle your fingers and toes. Excuse me. <coughs> Notice the surface you're lying on. You may want to do a little movement up and down your legs, your arms. Just a little massage. Now, if you're lying on your back, and then the right knee and the left knee, take your right arm overhead and roll over to your right side to fetal. Let yourself take a moment and then make your way up. Seated and you could set an easy pose or you can have your hips higher than the knees. So I'm going to walk. Taking your hands to your heart center. Breathe. Thank you very much for joining me and sharing your practice with me to help us work together in releasing all those lovely tight shoulders to our back and our neck. First, we touched on the lower body too. Namaste.